some breaking news this morning. A fire early this morning at a Denver apartment building forcing people out to the cold this morning. This is near 6th and Wolf. 7 News reporter Tyler Lopez live on the scene. Tyler, what can you tell us? Kelly, we're inside where this fire started. I just talked to the assistant fire chief. He was showing me this is where it started. We're in the second floor of Building 7. You can see that light socket there and this water heater. It's above that area where this fire began just after 3 o'clock this morning. And the damage that resulted from this was extensive. Now, they were here for just under two hours, but those firefighters are gone now. Here was the scene earlier when they arrived. As we said, they got the call about 3 o'clock, and this has done some significant damage to two units in this complex. But the result is much wider than that because some 14 units have been evacuated. So that's a total of 70 to 90 people that simply cannot go back into their apartments here this morning. And that's especially difficult with the weather coming in. The situation is going to be tough for all the families, but we happen to speak with the Lopez family. They have seven kids, ages one and up. Here's the oldest child, 15. Because we were sleeping, and all of a sudden we just heard knocking and just banging, and we find out that the building's burning. What do you think of this overall? Oh, it's so hard, and I don't know, I'm nervous. So they're saying this is an accidental electrical fire. Still a lot of damage to be cleaned up. They had to cut the electricity, the gas, and also the water because of the cold that's coming in. They didn't want the pipes to freeze. So this is definitely going to cause some trouble here at the Valley Park Apartments near 6th and Sheridan for at least today. We know the Red Cross is on the way to help these families. Again, 70 to 90 people simply cannot go home because of this fire. Reporting live in Denver, Tyler Lopez, 7 News Now.